Merry meet everyone. Welcome back to Midnight Fantasy Creation. Today I want to do a nice Easter candle. Hi Deems. What do you want? Come on. I'm trying to do a video here. Ooh, sorry. That was a little spocky. 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 So I want to do a nice Easter candle because Easter is coming up and I want to make a nice pink one. I want to have a pink base. So, and then I want to do a special, uh, I want to say it's called a spackle technique, you know, to paint because I don't know if you've seen it in the previous candle video that I did. The, it got the, the, um, yes, the candle dye stained the candle vessel. So I want to see if I can take a sponge and some watered down either pigment or paint and see if I can uh, sponge it on and get a nice uh, spackled effect on the egg. So I've got my bucket here with my level to measure out the magic pour from Let's Resin. We are going to measure out, I'm pretty sure I only need the four ounces total, like three ounces of powder, four ounce, uh, one ounce of water to do this. I could be wrong. I don't want to mix too much pink. I'm going to start with the four ounces and then I'm probably just going to add, because I used way too much pink in the last video and I know the mica powder does not work very well. I also do have red. I can probably put in a little red to kind of darken it up faster. We might do that. And then I'm taking this little thing off because those like to fall in. So. Let's turn that on. Let's get my scoop. So the Let's Resins Magic Pour comes with a scoop, which is very convenient. And I'm gonna get three ounces of powder, because you do need to do this by weight, not by volume like the epoxy resin. That's a little more. That's three ounces. Yes. And then we only need one ounce of water. And of course, this is beginner friendly, super easy to use, very forgiving if you put a little too much water in. Um, I did read in one of the instructions from one of these, the more water you put in, the longer it's going to dry. It may also shrink a little bit because I found that out, figured that out in some of the uh, gnomes that I did. I made them too watery and they shrink ever so slightly where I had to put a little bit more on the bottom. Well, technically it would be the top, but... I don't want this super thick, like this is too thick. So I'm just gonna put an ever so slight splash of water and a little bit goes a long way. You can go from not enough water to too much water fairly quickly. So little, a little bit at a time until you get the right consistency that you like. Now this does set quite fast. You are supposed to stir it for about I think it's in a minute or two, at least until all of the chunks are gone. And if this starts to set on you too quickly, add a little more water, because that's all it takes. As long as it's not completely hard, you're fine. So I'm gonna do two drops of red for right now, and then maybe five drops of pink. Like I said, I'm almost out of pink. And this red is going to wind up looking pinkish anyways, although I don't know if I like that pink. Don't forget to scrape the bottom, the sides. This stuff loves to settle on the bottom and it pushes all the water up and out. So I'm going to add mm, five more drops of pink because this is a little too red for my liking. Now they say you can use any water-based pigment and someone, I don't remember if it was Michelle from Glitz and Glitter or one of the other YouTubers that I see um, doing this had mentioned you can use water-based acrylic paints or I could have read it in a description somewhere. In fact, I have neon pink paint. I might throw some of that in there. Like that's a nice, it's still very red. Crap. Maybe I shouldn't have put that red in there. You know what? I'm going to try it. 
We are going to try it today. So this is from Crafters Collection. This is a, comes in a set of mm, 12. And this one is neon pink, all-purpose water-based paint. So I don't know if you can, okay. And we are going to try it. Make sure they're, yep, yeah, nope, seal. I haven't used these yet. In fact, I wanted to do one of the eggs with neon pink. Uh, no, neon paint. But I want to see if this is going to, how this is going to look in here. So just a couple of drops. And I already need to add water because this is already getting thick. And uh, there you go. And let's mix this up. That looks much better already. I might add a little bit more in there. I'm going to use too much. Now, this is going to be a little harder if I didn't make enough of this. It's going to be way harder for me to make more and get it the right color. I really should not have put that red in there. It still looks fairly red, in my opinion. I mean, it looks pink, but it has that red hue to it. And I don't know, it's throwing me off. I really wanted it to be more pink, but that's good for now. We're going to put that aside, and we are going to pour this in up high, try to get rid of some of those bubbles. If this starts getting too thick, I'm going to add a little more water and thin it out. I don't think I made enough. Shoot. Yeah, I didn't make enough. I'm going to pour this back out. I've never done that before. I wanted to try this. I need to add more water and more powder because that is not enough. So I am going to put this back on the scale and I'm going to mix up a little bit more. Let's do another three ounces. And we're going to see if this is even possible. Let's do another ounce of water. Extra. We are going to mix this up, scrape very well, mix it very well. Oh, that's nice and light now. Might need to throw a little bit more pink in there. Actually, no, that looks, that looks pretty good. I actually like that. Okay, I want to go in here and scrape some of this out if I can. I know I'm going to be painting over this, but... So note to self, do six ounces of powder to two ounces of water if I'm doing this egg molds in the future, which I should have realized that ahead of time because I've already done a couple of these. That's better. So this is probably going to leave a nice funky design because of the color that I got in there. I don't know how well that's going to blend with the rest of it. I want to smush this around a little bit, but I don't want to make a mess. I also want to make sure there's no air pockets in here. I haven't, knock on wood, I know it's glass, but I haven't gotten any yet. I'm going to do the top. All right, and then we need to let this sit and cure for at least a half hour to mold, but I have actually broken one of these trying to take them out. In fact, I will show you if I didn't throw it out yet. So I actually broke one of these trying to take them out of the mold. So you have to be very careful and let them sit for at least two hours. I think the last one I took out was two hours and it was fine. This one was like a good 30 minutes and I got impatient and now I just wasted a top and had to make a new one. So make sure you wait long enough to let this cure properly. And I will be back when that is ready to come out of the mold. All right, we are back and I'm trying something new, or at least trying to position the camera in, in a new spot because I've noticed in some of my previous videos, I do things, my hands are kind of like in the way of the camera. So I'm hoping this will be better. And I can't aim this, I can't aim this down any more than it already is. 
All right, so we are gonna demold these and then we are gonna paint them and I wanna do a nice spackled kind of design. And I wanna do it with the neon, hopefully it'll show up on this color. But I wanna do it with a neon paint. It's already got a kind of cool effect on it already. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. This is like kind of like a pinky red color. Not quite like the red Valentine candles we did, but a little more red than the pink ones. And then I want to try to do a special design on the the inside oh don't tell you this is two different colors oh yay it is awesome that's what i need it's a good thing we're painting it um so <clears throat> i do want to make the candle look like it has a yoke center and i think i found a way to do that hopefully it works we will see so that's gonna be fun but anyways so i got this sponge from the hobby lobby it was like i think I was a buck, so Hobby Lobby and here, let me check this out. And then in the painting section, like the, um, with the acrylic paint, not the acrylic paints, uh, yeah, the, like, acrylic paints you'd use on a canvas or the oil paints and then, like, the artist brushes and stuff. For some reason, they aren't with the acrylic paints. And then I want to try using these neon um, paints on it. I'm thinking with the red, I want to maybe do some pink and some purple in it. Or maybe some pink and orange. This one I might do pink and orange if I can get the pink to work. But we've got two shades of pink. I'm thinking this one. I'm just gonna put a little down on my silicone mat. I don't want too much. And then like, so this sponge is supposed to have like a natural, uh, I don't know if you guys ever seen like natural sponges in the ocean. They have a very texture to it. Um, and I'm hoping to get a really good spackle effect or a textured effect on this. We are gonna find out. So I'm just dabbing it in the paint and just kind of going anywhere, adding it heavy where I want, light where I, you know, don't want it too heavy. I'm just adding some more paint to it. And I might even do it with the top on. I don't know what that would be there. I guess it doesn't matter. There I had gives, gives it that nice textured look. Might need to paint this whole egg because of the color difference, which I didn't want to do. And once you get it to looking like you have just enough pink on here, you can switch it over to the orange. Now we have two different color oranges. And let's see, I want mm, this one. Oh, did I not open this one? Nope, I must have already opened that pink one. Don't think the neon yellow is gonna show up on this. All right, so we... Clean this off. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just enough to get rid of most of the pink. Let's see if I can take some of this off this thing. Ooh, that's nice and bright. And you can overlap. Get a really cool color difference. That's nice and bright. I like it. I like it a lot. Even go back. I want to add more pink. I might try the yellow. See if I can get the yellow to work. And mm, this one. Oh, look at 
at that. It does show up. Awesome. Not too well, but it will work for what I need it for, especially since it's getting a little bit of the orange in there. Crap. I should have brought I bought a couple of these, but I thought one might be good enough. Let's try that. that out. Nice spackled like egg. I'm thinking of putting a little of the color shift just in certain areas just to give it a little more something. And you don't notice the two different color bottoms and top this way too. All right. I think I might put some on the very top, tippity top. Don't care too much for the bottom. And since I'm starting off with yellow, which would have been better to do, I can work my way up the color pattern. There we go. All right, so I'm going to let this dry, and then we will be back to probably put a little of the um, uh, color shift on here. I gotta figure out what color I want to do. All right, now this has had time to dry and I did try my best to clean up my space. But I wanted to show you guys this under the black light. I mean, I don't have an official black light. I just have a violet light. I don't want to see if this will actually show up on the camera. I don't know how well you guys can see that sucker glow. That is so cool. I might next year <clears throat> make some like volcano lava eggs for Easter. That will be fun. I want to see if I can get a, a crackle, like a black crackle paint and see if the, they will work on these. That would be a nice experiment to do. Um, in a future video but for now I do want to add maybe just a little bit of a metallic or a color shift so I'm thinking of maybe just adding a little bit of the oh, what is this one orchid flash just to add a little something to it I don't want too much. And I just want to add a little bit to the pink areas. Maybe I might wander it into the other colors. And you can get as creative as you want with your own designs. But I'm hoping what I show you helps inspire you to do something and not be afraid to try something new. Worst case scenario, well, we're going to have to repaint this white and start all over again. Definitely don't be afraid to have some fun with your projects. I think that looks pretty cool. Putting it in the other spots gives it a little of a different effect. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, Alright, so I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. But that definitely has a nice interesting look to it. So I'm going to let this dry until tomorrow and we're going to seal it. Um debating on whether or not to seal it on camera or eh, yeah i'll seal it on a camera but i'll do it real quick and then we will do the uh the the wax and fill my easter eggs with nice hopefully a nice yolk design all right i will see you guys in a few all right it is the next day and this is dry we are going to seal it so i can put some wax in the wick the wax and all that other good stuff 
So we're gonna start off with the outside and then once that dries, I'll do the inside. This is Quick Coat from Counterculture DIY. I actually really like using this as a sealer. Normally you would use a urethane, not a urethane, this is the urethane, um, an acrylic sealer or a varnish sealer. So the acrylic sealer would be like Mod Podge. The varnish sealer would be more like um, Rust-Oleum. Now I have a larger brush, but it's stained black right now because of me using it on another project and I haven't gotten all the black out of it, which you know, I think it's just my eyes. Um, I probably should use this brush on there. So I'm just going to go over this nice and thin coats and layers all the way around to seal the paint in. Make sure there's no spots left that have not been either touched by paint or varnish. And this does dry fast. I'm gonna need to get a bigger paintbrush. I'm gonna get a paintbrush specifically for sealing. Good for that one. Now let's do this one. That's good for the first coat on the outside. I'm going to give it about 10 minutes and then I'm going to do the second coat. All right, it's been a good 10 minutes. This is ready for its second coat. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the first coat on the inside and then I'll do the second coat off camera because um, you guys don't need to see me doing four different coats of sealer. I'm trying to use the light to see if I missed any spots. It's blinding more than it's helping. My color shift on the two different batches is not helping. There's that one and we'll do this one. Right, so that would be the first coat for uh, both the outside and the inside. And I will see you guys in the next video because this is starting to get really long and I want to be able to show you how I do the yolk and the whites of the egg for the candle to make it look more like a real egg. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the bell. If you like the video, please subscribe. It will let you know when I have new videos. Share the videos to people that you like and don't forget to hit, hit the thumbs up on the videos that you do like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Blessed be. Bye.